In this video, we will look at adding and subtracting rational expressions that already have a common denominator. We will find we do them the exact same way we add with numbers, and that would be to add the numerators and keep the denominators. However, subtracting is the only exception where we must first distribute the negative into the numerator of the fraction. Also, be sure to check your answer and not forget to reduce. Let's take a look at some examples where we have to do just that. In this problem, we notice the denominators are exactly identical. In this case, we just have to add the numerators or combine like terms. x squared has no like term, but 4x can be combined with the x to give us plus 5x. Finally, plus 6 at the end over our common denominator of x squared minus 2x minus 15. However, before we say this is our final answer, we will want to make sure we check to see if it can reduce. To reduce, we must first factor the numerator and denominator. Using the AC method, we multiply to 6 and add to 5. This would be 2 and 3, and because of the 1 in front of x squared, we can plug those numbers straight into our factors, x plus 2 times x plus 3 over in the denominator, we use the same pattern, the AC method, multiplying to negative 15 and adding to negative 2 would be 5 and 3, where the 5 is negative. This gives us x minus 5 times x plus 3. Notice, now that we're factored, we do have a common factor that can divide out. This leaves us with our final answer, x plus 2 over x minus 5. Let's take a look at another example where we combine the numerators and then reduce by first factoring. Again, in this problem, you notice we have a common denominator. However, we also have subtraction. Recall, with subtraction, we must first take this negative and distribute it onto the entire numerator. This will give us x squared plus 2x over 2x squared minus 9x minus 5. And now we have plus, because we've taken care of the negative, negative 6x minus 5 over 2x squared minus 9x minus 5. Distributing the negative, you may recall, simply changes the sign on each term. Now that we have a common denominator, we can combine our numerators. x squared has no like term, but 2x minus 6x is negative 4x, and finally, the minus 5 has no like term. Over our denominator, 2x squared minus 9x minus 5. Before we say this is our final answer, we will want to check to be sure we can reduce. We must first factor in order to reduce using the AC method, multiplying to negative 5 and adding to negative 4. We have negative 5 and positive 1. Because of the 1 in front of x squared, we can factor this to x minus 5 times x plus 1. In the denominator, we're multiplying to negative 10 and adding to negative 9. This is done with negative 10 and 1. With the 2 in front of x squared, we're careful to factor it to 2x and x. The 2x must be multiplied by negative 5 and the x by positive 1 to give us the negative 10 and 1. Notice, we have a common factor of x minus 5 that can divide out, leaving our final answer of x plus 1 over 2x plus 1. Distributing the negative first, combining terms and reducing to find our solution with common denominators.